Nation, welcome back to the CJ Nerf Channel. I just recently got a delivery from Amazon, and I'm trying out some new suction cup darts right here. And I wanted to uh, demo them for you guys so you could take advantage of the deal if it was if it turns out that they're really good. Uh, I paid nine seventeen nine dollars and seventeen cents for two hundred. Now, as you guys know, that Nerf actually sells the suction cup darts also in thirty packs. That's the biggest I've ever seen. Uh, they normally retail. On average, according to the Nerf Wiki, at about $9.99 per pack of 30. Uh, Amazon sells them regularly for $7.97. And right now they have them actually on sale for Black Friday for like $6.90 something cents, if I'm not mistaken. But $200 versus $30 for basically the same price. We got to check these out. Let's take a look at them. The first thing I want to show you is these things came packaged pretty beautifully. Uh, they're in packs of 10. As you can tell that there's no glue coming down the sides or anywhere. They were very neat. I got to say, they all pretty much look the same. Um, I don't have any that look like totally irregular, like crazy shorter than the other. Um, and my son was firing these all last night at the back uh, glass door to go outside and they were sticking like crazy. So... These look pretty good, I gotta oh, say. As opposed to the Kush darts, which sometimes have excess glue and stuff like that, I did not have that problem with these. Well, let's take a side-by-side -side comparison at these darts and uh, see what we got here. So the knockoffs will be on the right, the Elite official ones will be on the left. Uh, the top where the actual suction cup is, is a lot bigger on the knockoffs to the right. Um, the left one, though, I will say the Elite darts that are official for Nerf are actually a lot sturdier. Uh, the outside of the ring of the um, knockoff darts is pretty flexible. It just kind of goes where it wants. But I have noticed when we've shot it, it's stuck wherever we've hit. Um, now, if you take a look closely at the tips of the um, darts, you will notice that the way that Nerf designs their tips, it actually goes inside the foam, and the foam comes up around the outer wall. Um, on the knockoffs, it's actually flush. So it's actually probably glued with an insert. Um, so that's probably the main difference in the two darts. And I would say, guess, at a longevity-wise, it's probably going to make the official dart from Nerf last a little longer, if you don't lose it. So uh, why don't we test fire some of these? All right, first thing I'd like to do is I'm going to run this through a battery of tests. I'm going to shoot 20 darts with the Rapid Strike to show you what it looks like on full auto. I'm going to show you 20 through the Strife um, with semi-automatic. I'm going to use the Strong Arm for the pistol test. I'm going to use my modded Alpha Trooper to see how it hold, the darts hold up with a modded blaster that's shooting at about 100 feet per second. And we're going to do the crossbow uh, just to do a little something different with a Springer, um, with a clip. So I set up a little, uh, <laughs> my little dry erasable whiteboard downstairs, and forgive my artistry. I am not a very good artist, but uh, I drew a little bit of a target just to uh, see how we can kind of have an aim point. So let's Let see what we got. Those. Move it over to the crossbow. I always forget that this gun shoots low. <laughs> now I'm shooting from about 20 feet away, just so you know. A little less, probably about 18 feet away. But, you know, pretty pleased with the power. I haven't missed the target yet. So the shock groupings have been, you know, I can't complain. That's it for that. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to the modded one. Ooh, that's a definite bullseye. Look at that. Wow. All right. All right, I'm trying to shoot now. That's it for those. I was trying to shoot a little bit more at... Um, areas of the board that didn't have a lot of darts so I could continue to keep them sticking. Uh, so let's try the strife. There's 20 in here. Okay, the last dart on the clip didn't want to come out. I don't know if that was for the spring or whatever, but okay, so we didn't get one out of the 20. And finally, let's do the rapid strike. I'm using the, the flip clip. There's 10 in each flip clip. So let's see what we're doing.
All right, had our first jam there. All right, hold on. Oh, now it comes out. Let's try that again. Okay, so through the rapid strike, we had a couple problems, uh, but through everything else, it worked pretty decent. Now, I will say that is the used rapid strike that I bought off of that garage sale. Um, as you can tell, the ones that did hit the board and are stuck are actually holding on pretty well. Um, so I kind of really don't have any complaints, I guess, I guess. Okay. I do want to point out one other difference. Here is the Elite Official Nerf Dart on this side, and this is the knockoff. If you look at the base of the suction cup where it actually attaches to the tip, you will notice that the official ones have a wider attachment point. So I, thus leading me to believe that the Kush Darts will maybe tear or break after some time. Um, but for the sheer price for the volume, it might be something you want to think about. Uh, the quality of the foam is right on par with one another. I really can't really tell the difference too bad. Um, they both bend about the same. Um, you know, I don't see any major differences in that. It's really just the tip is where the differences lie. Uh, and the cost, of course. So, I don't want to influence you one way or the other. You make up your mind for what's best for you. You guys saw the test. You saw the firing. You saw the performance. Uh, I showed you the way they were packaged. You're not going to find glue running all down the sides, or at least I didn't in, in 400 of them that I bought. Um, I have a one and a half year old son. He's gonna doesn't really care about the way he handles darts. He scrunches them up. He puts them in his fist. He loads them in the wrong blasters. It's all good. So when he destroys these, I really won't care. Um, I'll probably leave the better darts packaged until he gets a little older. Um, so you can make up your mind if these work for you. Um, they seem to work for me. So I placed another 400 on order. Um, that means I'm going to have about 800 of these things. So um, I'll put a buy link in the description if you're interested. Uh, Thank you very much for joining me again on the CJ Nerf channel. Look forward to seeing you guys next time.